teddy bears come from. But we said, well, uh, in 1969, this band, this actual band, was called Alan's Dixie Gang. There you are. That's news for you, isn't it? Nothing to do with teddy bears at all. Stunned into silence you are. They used to play in Blackpool at the Dixieland Show Bar. Uh, and the band was run by a guy called Alan Pendlebury, who you may or not remember, you a trombonist. And then it was stolen uh, from Alan Pendlebury by an erstwhile member of the band and renamed the Chicago Teddy Bears. Now the Chicago Teddy Bears came around as a result of a cartoon on American television which uh, infiltrated British television as it always does even now. Huh. It was Phil Silver's show. Do you remember Bill Coe? And Doberman? Ooh. Little fat Doberman and Bill Coe. Well, they were the voices for uh, a cartoon called Top Cat, Officer Dibble. Well, they were Bill Coke, Doberman, and all the Motorpool, all the voices. And it was so successful that they made another cartoon called The Chicago Teddy Bears. And they were all gangsters, seven gangsters, well, I think it was about 11 gangsters, actually, riding around in a little car, shooting Tommy guns in the air, you know. And it lasted about six weeks and failed. So they took it off the air, or is that what they say? They took it off the screen, <laughs> whatever it was then, and uh, it, it was never shown again. So if any, we were talking about this at the back earlier, if you've got the internet, if you can get to the internet, sorry, if you type in Chicago Teddy Bears, the first thing you'll get is an American cartoon of yesteryear, 70s or 80s or something. Oh, earlier than that actually, because that's where the name came from. Uh, and uh, we inherited it, not one of us were in the band at that time, so when somebody said, where did you get the name from? I said, well, we didn't get it, we, we inherited it. It was there for five or six years before any of us joined, you know. There we are, is that interesting? Yeah, it's all right. You, really? I was just trying to save my lip for a few minutes. Now, at the moment, uh, we're going to feature Brian Bear. Yes! Actually, uh, there's something else we were just discussing outside during, uh, during the interval. Tony here. Uh, and someone was, were actually trying to work out what the singular version of a lot of the bands would be. Like, Kenny Ball and his jazz man. <laughs> the Chicago Teddy Bear. And all the other things that you can probably add to it. But it reminded me that in the flower power days, when Kenny Ball was popular actually, you know, when he used to be popular, in the end of the 60s and 70s, all over the top of the pops and things, they, they thought of these names uh, to do with flower power, and that was one of them that came up, Kenny Ball and his jasmine. <laughs> <laughs> to remember that from the 70s, you know, you can't believe it. <clears throat> We're going to feature Brian Baird on a number called Dapper Dan. Dapper Dan was a poem for the man on the train, way down in Dixie. Everyone knew Dapper Dan, knew him as a ladies' man. He never cared to settle down, he had a girl in every town. And on that train each day, you can hear old Daniel say. If I lose my gal in Tennessee, that won't worry me. Cause I got another honey lamb waiting for me down in Alabama. And if I lose my gal in Alabama, well, I ain't gonna get sore. Cause I got another honey in Georgia. Just a waiting for And if I lose my gun in Georgia I ain't gonna find Cause I got another honey waiting Down in dear old Caroline Now, I ain't handsome and I ain't sweet Got the kind of loving that can't be beat I'm a ladies man from dear old Dixieland That won't worry me Cause I got another honey lamb Waiting for me down in Alabama And if I lose my gal in Alabama Well, I ain't gonna get sore Cause I got another honey in Georgia I'm just a waiting for If I lose my gal in Georgia I ain't gonna find Cause I got another honey waiting Down in Tito Caroline Now I ain't handsome, I ain't sweet 
the kind of loving that can't be beat. I'm a ladies' man. I'm a ladies' man. I'm a ladies' man from dear old Dixieland. All the way from Dixieland. It's a number called Swing 42. Just see what we're going to do next.
242, and I haven't forgotten what we're doing next. Uh, see, my Alzheimer's is not as bad as you think it is. What are they, eh? What? What do they say then? <laughs> uh, this is a number which features Ray on the double bass once again, and yodeling, yodeling without the aid of a safety net. And it goes like this.
folk come to see it fun by the dozen. She's dressed in style and going a wild me oh my oh. Son of a gun, we're gonna have this fun on the fire. With the jambalaya and the coffee pot, we're gonna throw a gumbo. Tonight I'm gonna sing my share of me oh. But we do, we do have this, uh, and Ray always calls it a cross to bear, we have this cross to bear. Uh, and uh, for our sins, we, we, people demand this number. Now, usually it's a request, but this becomes heavily disguised as a demand. And sometimes, actually, it goes so far as to be a threat. And not only a threat, but Ray. There was one evening when I asked Ken, we were doing the sign language, and I said, is it a, is it a threat? Because it's either a request, a demand, a threat. And I, I was overheard by the people in the audience. And this very attractive lady stood up at the back and waved. And she said, if you make a good job of it, it could be a promise. <laughs> <laughs> this is for the gentleman who requested any Johnny Cash tune I knew. It goes like this.
But this is this next piece we're going to do now has definitely not been done at this festival. <laughs> that I know it has not been done. Um, I, I, I don't know whether you know this, but the chap did ask me, did I know any Johnny Cash? Tunes. Now Johnny Cash was a huge George Formby fan. <laughs> <laughs> George Harrison was. But anyway, he, he was, and, and before he died, and I keep getting reminded that he couldn't have done it any other time. He, he actually went into the studio and he did Johnny Cash sings George Formby. And he was, he was, he was going to tour, he, he was going to tour England, doing all those working men's clubs and village halls and affiliated places, you know the ones. And he could have been in a club near you if he hadn't died. We've got a forward, a forward copy of one of his tunes and it goes like this. And this is, this is just a little snippet of what it would have sounded like. club we played at in a place called Black Rod near Rivington in Lancashire and uh, the, the Black Rod Mafia used to come to the, the jazz club where we played and that's where the, the term, the expression came from there, they said this threat is if you don't play this number your car's up on piles of bricks at the end of the night, you know. And that meant the whole band, not just one, not one guy, you know. We haven't got a band bus. But it's got round to time for us to say farewell. We've got a, a, a oh. fairly long journey to go. Oh, yes, it has. He's behind you. <laughs> no, no, I, I didn't mean we're going to, we're not going to, we're going to play another number. Oh, or two. Three. Or three, maybe. I think. Well, you never know, there might be four. But it's in, the, it's in the form of a medley, so dancers, you ready? Yes. Okay, well, we're going to go out. Um, primarily on this medley and uh, we may just stick another one on the end afterwards uh, but we've got to get home for three o'clock in the morning uh, and now that means driving furiously all the way from here to home uh, unless anybody has uh, other opportunities for us <laughs> like promises <laughs> ready I'm gonna lay down my burden 
down by the riverside, down by the riverside, down by the riverside, lay down my burden, down by the riverside, and sunny one or more, I ain't got sunny one or more, sunny one or more, ain't gonna study one or more, no more, down by the Sword and shield, down by the riverside, down by the riverside, down by the riverside, way down my sword and shield, down by the riverside, and study war no more. I need to study war no more, study war no more, ain't gonna study war no more, no more, down by the riverside, gonna lay down. Carry me, I'm flying after me. 
You're too happy tonight, aren't you? You all look really happy and tired. No? Well, it's been a wonderful festival, we've had great weather. Been storms everywhere except here. So... <laughs> Don't say... I mustn't say that too quick. We'll be telling you that again in the morning. Okay, thank you very much for coming. And hope to see you on the 25th next year. Thank you very much. Good night and God bless. Thank you. Must I uh, um, nearly forgot, thanks to all the bands, I think, and Ruth Markey, uh, right way through to the town, uh, and back here, and with the Chicago Teddy Bears to finish it off. The big hands of the Teddy Bears is going to play the last number. Good night, and God bless you all. It's to the 25th. Okay, bye. Thank you very much. Thank you very for our backline folks. Never Goodman on the piano. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Brian Singleton on drums. Goodbye. Tony Olmsen on guitar and banjo. Ray Owens on everything. Double bass vocal. Tony Dunleavy on trombone. And one of the finest lead men in the country, John Hall on ladies and gentlemen. 
I've enjoyed it tonight. The full falling out and things like that. And we look forward to seeing you again, wherever. Good night and God bless from all the boys in the back. Thank you.